So when I first sat down to write this video, G2 winning the major was much more of a hot take. I began writing in the group stage and had multiple sections about how G2 would match up against Navi and would vanquish them in a crazy grand finals, and then Navi lost. So then I had to go back and rewrite talking about their next biggest threat, Vitality, and then Vitality lost. So here we are now, and G2 are the runaway favorites for the major, but I'll still break down why I believe they will win. First off, I want to say that I made this prediction back in May during IEM Dallas. At that time, I was watching the G Stew run had some sort of special magic about them that I couldn't explain, and I boldly proclaimed during their playoff run that they would win the Shanghai Major. Right before the playoffs, if you asked me what my brain thought would happen, I probably would have said that Vitality beat Spirit in the Grand Finals, but my heart told me to pick G2 anyways, so that's what I did. I know G2 has some serious flaws, they are tactically poor, have tilting issues, and Monacy isn't back to his superstar status just yet, but I'm about to tell you why most of these don't matter. First off, Snacks is a bad IGL, but the perfect fit for G2. Earlier this year, G2 was losing games despite having a better caller, but worse fragger in Hooksy. The run at Dallas proved that G2 doesn't need any crazy strats to win, but just needed a fifth player to frag. If you don't remember, they won this tournament with Nexa and Stewie2k as a sub. Stewie2k performed worse than Hooksy, but what he did, Hooksy couldn't replicate. He was able to calm the team down and get some clutch kills. This is where I think the criticisms of G2 dropping Hooksy for Snacks are unjustified. While not putting up insane ratings, Snacks is simply better at winning rounds than Hooksy was. He is particularly good on pistol rounds and in the clutch, something Hooksy was not. And I think this is accurately reflected with G2's recent success under Snacks. They have been to three grand finals with him, winning two of them. They also added in the Guatemalan Goat in Malbs, a cracked aim god from Central America who is looking like a future superstar and top 20 player. So no, I'm not worried about G2's lack of tactics because you can't any strap bullets. G2's biggest issue has always been themselves. Nico, while being the heart and soul of the team and by all accounts a good teammate, has a molding issue. He is prone to getting in his own head and self-destructing, leading to soul-crushing defeats. However, with the roster disbanding after the major, I think this will help lessen the amount of molding. I'm not under any impression that he won't get tilted off the face of the earth, just that it won't happen as often since there is no more pressure. Something I don't see a lot of the pundits bringing up is the crazy crowd buff G2 will receive. I think G2 plays better when they have a supportive crowd, and for some of you that don't know, China loves G2. Nico and Monacy are superstars over there, bigger than Astralis in Denmark. They get swarmed the second they are spotted in public, and I think this popularity will translate into the arena. These Chinese crowds are not afraid to play favorites and give info to the players, so if that doesn't change, that assistance could help save them rounds. Now that I have listed all the copium reasons as to why G2 will win the major, I do have to say what I am worried about. I am worried about Monacy's performance. This may sound like an insane take at first, but if you watched him at the RMR, it did not look good. He has improved since then, dropping pretty good stats throughout the major and the first round of the playoffs, but he's not back to his godlike best arena player of the year that we all know he is. I'm fully confident that he will show out versus FaZe and whoever they face in the grand finals, as like I just said, he is the best arena player this year, but he cannot afford any slip ups like he had at the RMR. G2 face off against FaZe tonight in the semifinals, and what I'm sure will be a closer matchup than their last affair back in the group stage, Rops and Brokey, two impact players who have fallen off these past couple months, has seemingly come back online just in time to ruin everybody's pickums, and Kerrigan is obviously a better caller than Snacks. So with G2's choking and FaZe's black magic, we should have a banger of a match.